Hey y'all, today we have a Pen 330 GTI that is not going into free school. And we have a pretty good idea that of why that is. But we're going to confirm that and show you how to fix it. So I'm going to open this up by removing those five, six screws, five screws on the outside and pulling this up. Okay, so now we're going to pull this and what I'm guessing is going to happen is this spool is going to come with it. And it does. So essentially the reason it won't engage in free spool is because the, the, the shaft is frozen to the bridge and so we have to find a, a way to remove that or to pop that out. I'm just going to yank at first but that may not work. And if that doesn't work then the next step would be to do something else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I cracked myself up. So at this point what I'll do now is undo those four bridge screws, pull that assembly out and then see if we can get it that way. Is it though? Okay, so let's see how we're going to do this. That pinion gear, that shaft, they're fused together. Possibly the gear, the bearing inside there on the bottom as well. Uh, so I am going to let's see if I can put this main gear up. I'd love to get rid of all these other pieces. Alright, so now the options that we have here are we can use heat on this. Probably the best option at this point really. But we can use heat on this to free whatever rust is built up inside there and just pull it off. Uh, of course we risk damaging the bearing that's under there. But I'm going to guess that's our only option at this point. I just, I'm going to try not to heat this up too much where it melts this line on here. But if that's the case we just remove it and then put a new one on it. Alright, so I'll come back to you after I pull this off so you can see what it looks like. Okay, I thought I was recording. Uh, I was not, so let me tell you what I did there. What I said earlier while I was not recording <laughs> is that the heat's not working to the point where I want it to and this spool is getting really hot and I don't want to heat it up anymore. So since we had some play in the, in the bridge there, we had some room to play with that uh, that pinion gear. So what I used was a press to push down on this. I've only done it once so far, but we're probably gonna have to go back and forth a couple times just to get that pinion gear off. The goal here is to not damage the pinion gear so we can reuse it. So now all I'm gonna do is just pull up because I used the press to push down on the pinion gear and it moved. So I'm gonna just see if we have enough play to go back and forth. And if not, we'll just keep doing it. And of course, worst case scenario, you have to destroy the pinion gear just to break it off or to get it off that uh, shaft and just replace it. But to do so, you need to be able to free that up on the inside. Uh, but for that, what I would just use is a pliers and just grip it real tight and just turn as hard as I can. That may or may not work if you try it that way. All right, so I'm just going to continue, continue doing this and then come back to you guys when it's uh, removed. You get the idea of what I'm doing here. All right, so it's off. And essentially that entire uh, area or length of the inside of that pinion gear was frozen to right here. And if you look closely, you can see that dark area from there to there. That's all where it was frozen. So basically if you have one of those situations where it's like this and it's frozen to the pinion gear only and not to the to the bearing 
you can do what I just did there. You have to undo the entire reel. Um, make sure you take out the handle when you do it and that eccentric lever or the screw for the eccentric lever so you can pull the, the entire bridge out and then just working it that way. Well, I hope to help some of you guys out there if you ever run into this issue. It is It will take some effort and some work. You may or may not want to undertake it. But if you do, good luck and I hope it helped you guys. All right, don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you appreciated the video and consider subscribing if you like this kind of content. I'll see you guys next time.